natural uh, because if we look uh, uh, the Arab nation as a whole, uh, one of the biggest contributors to, uh, to the world culture and uh, uh, thanks to which we, uh, we have our European antique, uh, antique heritage, so Arabs preserved it. Uh, uh, and uh, we look the, <coughs> the situation of the Arab nation now, uh, we will see the terrible consequences. Of course, there was a period of several centuries of the Ottoman rule over the whole Arab world, but we know as well that uh, in, uh, for several centuries, uh, Ottoman Empire was, uh, was a geopolitical <coughs> ally of the British Empire. So uh, Brits practically took the whole territory after mm -hmm. Ottoman Empire collapsed uh, and uh, uh, cut it into pieces. So uh, Arab nation is now a conglomerate of, of countless uh, states and nations uh, with absolutely uh, impossible uh, perspective of reunification. Uh, then what we know today uh, as uh, uh, so-called Islamic fundament fundamentalism, extremism and terrorism and so on, uh, it was uh, actually uh, uh, invented uh, and raised uh, uh, in Britain uh, when uh, uh, approximately in the period when, when it formally uh, 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 ceased or, or stopped uh, to be empire. So the, 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 the biggest uh, first move uh, in that direction was uh, creation of Pakistani nation on the basis of religion. So the cut of India, the biggest British colony, into two big confronted pieces, that's their uh, result. And since that time, uh, uh, all other uh, uh, sponsors of this extremism and terrorism are uh, coming from the same school. The, 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 the Saudi Arabia uh, as a country, uh, the most probably uh, undemocratic regime in the contemporary world, uh, is uh, since the beginning until nowadays uh, uh, supported by, uh, uh, by Anglo-Americans and it also uh, supports all these financially other extremist uh, groups that have to be uh, uh, used as uh, weapons by, by the empire. Uh, and uh, uh, during the whole recent histo history after the Second World War, you will see uh, uh, the uh, pattern that the, uh, the Arab countries, which, uh, or Islamic countries, uh, which are becoming targets of the West, are never the most extremist and most undemocratic regimes, but on the contrary, uh, the most progressive regimes, like Iraq, Syria, Libya, and so on. Uh, nobody uh, is putting pressure on Saudi Arabia, and uh, the latest uh, uh, example is Bahrain, uh, troubles in Bahrain. Bahrain started almost simultaneously like uh, in uh, Tunisia and Libya, uh, uh, and they, they are still lasting, uh, but uh, uh, with, the, uh, with the, the opposite development. Uh, nobody cares uh, uh, about majority of the people uh, protesting against the regime uh, uh, which is connected with the, uh, with the U.S. military base. Uh, and which is producing uh, much more violence against the protesters than the uh, Libyan regime ever did. Uh, okay, the, the, the next point in this first point, uh, maybe it will be the longest, uh, 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 would be the question why Libya and why now? Mm -hmm. 
uh, it's apparent to everyone that Libya has oil, and reserves of oil in the world. Uh, so let's take uh, Libyan oil. Uh, the second uh, thing is that the Western countries, uh, so Western companies were using Libyan oil under certain contracts and under certain conditions, uh, but they had a debt towards the Libyan state of about $200 billion. Uh, so we will never pay them our debt, which is very nice, especially now when we are in luck of money. Uh, uh, after the uh, Libyan revolution in 69, uh, uh, when the new regime uh, uh, reached a certain level of the organization of the state and the society, they uh, uh, signed the most important contracts with the Western oil companies in 1971. And these contracts were lasting 40 years. Meaning that exactly now they were uh, about either to be prolonged or changed or or cut, and uh, this uh, 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 this nasty Gaddafi uh, was threatening that they will deprive some Western companies of prolonging arrangements, and that he would instead. Uh, sell these rights to Russians or, or Chinese and so on. Uh, the next reason is that uh, Libya was a socialist country. Okay, uh, uh, there is a, a little specific ideology that Gaddafi proclaims, but if you look it to, into essence of it, uh, and it, it was not hidden, uh, the official name of the country was uh, uh, great socialist uh, Libyan Arab Jamahiria, uh, which uh, uh, practically already the name of the country uh, uh, has uh, two main pillars of, of this ideology. One is socialism and another is uh, the type of, like we call our countries, democracies, he invented this notion Jamahiriya, which would mean uh, the, the, the state of, uh, of people's masses, uh, emphasizing that this is a, a system of direct democracy. There was no political parties, uh, uh, no uh, 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 Western sense elections, but uh, every citizen uh, was system of uh, people's committees uh, being involved into, uh, into the, the system of, of direct democracy. Uh, uh, Libya is by territory five times bigger than Germany. And it has only six and a half million uh, population. Uh, and uh, plus that population was doubled in last 30 years approximately, um, uh, with one of the highest birth rate in the world. Already in uh, the 80s, um, Libya by GDP per capita uh, overcame uh, uh, countries uh, like uh, Italy, Spain or South Korea. And when we speak about social achievement there, uh, it would uh, look like a fairy tale. Uh, 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 so uh, every person was uh, free to work or not to work. Anyhow, he will be uh, uh, he will be secured by the state, and every student can select any university in the world, and. Uh, the, the state uh, will uh, pay uh, his uh, um, fee at that university and, and provide him with, uh, with, uh, with enough money like average salary, I would say, in that country where he studied.